story so long, we'll do part of it today, we'll start it and continue tomorrow. The story actually is a very long one, which, which is uh, the Fidik Rebbe tells in great detail, recorded uh, in Chelik Dada of the Kutya de Burim. But he then makes reference to it very briefly, so we'll just tell you the brief outline of the story, and we'll begin today just for a few moments, and the uh, beautiful lesson that Rebbe derives in the story. Okay, so in the year 1769, the Baal Shem sent one of his youngest disciples, his name is Rabbi Moshe Meshel, on a mission to the Gorn Ha'adid, the extraordinary Gorn Rabbi Chaim HaKoyin Rappaport. Rabbi Chaim HaKoyin Rappaport was a famous, famous uh, Jewish leader who initially was opposed to the shit of the Baal Shem Tev and became one of his, one of his uh, great chassidim. He was a Gon Oilam and a great uh, uh, leader who led the war against the, the Frankisten, the false the disciples of the false, uh, false uh, Mashiach, false Messiah, Joseph Frank, and the remnants of, of the Shabtai Tzvi, famous great debate that took place. It's a fascinating passage of our history. Anyway, he was a big girl, a big tzaddik, and he sends, the Barshant of Sends, it's Moshe Meshel, one of his youngest Talmidim, on the Shlichus, with the following instructions, that on Wednesday of one of the weeks in the month of Tammuz, Hashkach and Pratis, the Naba and the Tammuz, he should go to the forest outside the city, the town, and learn their great depth for the first four chapters of Hilchus Baruchus of the Rambam, any chidushim, any innovations that he has, that he has then, he should write down immediately, briefly, he shouldn't forget it, and go back home. That's the shlichus. So that Wednesday morning, early in the morning at first light, that day, the whole sky is, becomes dark with clouds and heavy torrential rain falls. And even though it's only eight parasites, which is a short distance, a parasite is a, uh, it's a parasite, it's a, it's a fraction of a, of, a, of a kilometer, maybe half or less. From the city, it took many hours to get there. Because aside from the fact that the roads are very difficult because of the, ter- the tremendous rain, at every step, something happened. First, the rain snapped. Then the, 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 the saddle uh, straps broke. Then the, the, I don't know what it's called, the, 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 a wheel fell off. And then the might between the horses, that they went, what is it called? Between the horses, the, that, it's like a stick. Between the horses, the, the horses are fastened to the end of it. What's it called? The shaft has a name. I should forget. Maybe the, br- the bridle? What? Bridle. No, it's a, the bridle is on the, the, the hitch? The, no, no, the bridle is on the, 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 head, the, uh, the head of the horse. So the long, no wagon, it's a long pole that extends from the horse's mouth to the wagon. There's a word for it, I forgot. Anyway, that breaks. <laughs> and other things. And to fix it all took a long time. It took, they only arrived at two o'clock in the afternoon. They left at, at dawn, and it's a summer day, so they got to the place which the Vashem Tev indicated in his letter to Reb Chaim. The indication was, you see me, an image of the Vashem Tev, you see my image, stop there. For four hours, Rabbi Moshe Meshel was watching this. The big Gorn sat deeply immersed in his, in his study. And he got very thirsty. Rabbi Moshe Meshel. It's a summer day. So I and the wagon driver went to look for some water. And in the, in the, in the someone's uh, phone is, should be muted. And there in the, in the, uh, the, the, the bush there, we found a well. Fine. Mission completed. Dav Mincha, 
I went back home. They Rabbi, I knew you're on mute. I'm on mute. Since when? Just, just now, like you, maybe a few sentences. Okay. So, wh which, which part of the story did you hear? The last part. Yeah, he was about to go back home. Okay. The water part. We heard. Yeah, they went. They found some water, a, a well, a spring. So that end of the summer, the beginning of Elul, sort of the Gon of Chaim Abbaport came to the Baal Shem Tev. He says to the Baal Shem Tev, he said to him, Rebbe, from the time you sent me on the Shlichus to the forest, he says, my eyes, Baruch Hashem, have opened up in Torah, and my heart has opened in the service of the Creator. And he thanked the Ebishter for the schus that he was given this Shlichus, which he recognized that somehow as a result of the shlichus, that somehow he was connecting to, to some great neshama, some holy neshama, as a result of which he opened up his mind and heart to a whole new level. And that suddhid, Vashem Tev related and explained the story. And he said that the purpose was in order to purify and elevate the neshama that had lived there. There were ruins there, you could still see in the forest, the ruins of the, uh, of the home, of the estate, who had lived there 117 years before. The Fitika goes into the great detail of the story. How this Neshama had, had to, was in Gehenna for that long. And only now, it's final Aliyah through the learning of Rab Chaim HaKain Rappaport. And the story, it's look it up, it's translated in the Kutu the Board in volume four. You can see it there yourself, the details. This person was a great Talmud Chachem. But he completely mocked all matters of faith. But learn without a Yamulka. Smoking on Shabbos. And, but a great Torah scholar. And to cleanse this Neshama 117 years. And the Barshem Tev sent up Chaim Akain Rappaport to sit and learn the Eon and, and as you heard, his discovery should write, he should write, because his discoveries were egoless discoveries. This fellow was also big Mahadish, but it was all Satan in Yitzhahara. And he was then completing the Tikkun of this Nishan. And, he, and the Barshem Tev said, and, and he thanked him, Bar Hashem, that you, were, that you were successful, and this Nishan is now redeemed and released. And tomorrow we'll continue another unbeknownst shlichus they carried out on that Wednesday, that Wednesday, that summer, summer morning, which will continue tomorrow, Beis Hashem and the Rebbe's lesson from the second half of the story. Incredible lesson. Everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you. Beautiful rabbi. Thank you. Yes, you